Hello guys, I'm Lock Piano on the beat. If this is your very first time in tuning into this channel, please do not forget hit up that like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on the bell notification so you're notified whenever we upload new videos like this. All right, today guys, I'm going to be showing us how to set up um, Roland Jono DS piano um, into our um, DAW or our door as we uh, usually call it. Okay, so um, specifically, I'm going to be using FL Studio 20 for today's lesson. Okay, um, I got this uh, piano keys um, lately and I try to connect it um, like the way I usually connect other uh, of my MIDI uh, controller and it wasn't really connecting. So I had to, all right, I had to do a little bit of research and um, I it, it was a little bit difficult for me to get... Um, it and i feel i should do this lesson okay so first of all i'm going to turn it off i'm going to turn off the um, midi controller okay so i'm going to do that now okay usually once you turn it up you're going to see this message pop on on the screen of your um midi controller on the roland midi controller it's going to ask you um you connected a usb cable go to the door controller menu and do whatever whatever so what i'm going to do is just to say okay so i'm going to move with my wheel like this or i uh, use my plus and minus button like this so as you can see so once i'm on the okay i'm going to press enter so ideally it's supposed to connect me straight away in case of others okay so there's actually options here to choose in if you are using logic pro sona uh, if I press enter, there's tons of options here to connect particular doors that came with it. So I can choose either Logic or Sona or Cubase. Um, all right. So, but I don't have FLA. I don't know actually if that was the reason why, but I didn't try it in other doors. So um, what I'm going to do right here is to. So as you can see, we can access, um, we can find our Roland keyboard right here. So what you're going to do is to go to any of your browser and download the drivers. Okay. So I'm going to go to one of my uh, browser, which is Chrome. Okay. And uh, I'm going to say, uh, type Roland. Okay. Roland. All right. So I have it here already. Um, so I'm going to enter it because I've downloaded it before now so i'll enter it and um, it's going to come up to this um give me options of site where i can download it so i'm going to come here and click on this particular one you can click on any of the above right here so once i click on it so um it's going to take me to a side where i'll have so once you take me to this particular side what i'm going to do is to scroll down read through these particular informations that you have right here uh, because I've downloaded it before now, so I don't need to read it again. So you can go through it and scroll down. So once you get to this um, end part, you're going to see I agreed and wish to proceed with download. So you click on it, then click on the download file here. And um, it's going to start downloading automatically as long as you have internet connection. So once you're done, you can come to your download and look for where it is. Okay, this is it right here. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to come to this show in folder. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to take me to where I downloaded it. So this is it right here. All right. So uh, because I've tried so many attempts, that's why I have this one. So what you're going to do, it's in zip form right now. So you're going to extract it. You're going to uh, right click and come to this extract to this blah, blah, this particular one, then extract. So once you extract it, uh, because I've done that, I don't need to do it again. Once you extract it, it's going to come up in a folder form. It's going to come up in a folder form. Hold on a second. Okay, this is it right here. So you double click and open it. This is it again. You double click and right here. Okay, so this is the setup. So all you have to do is to right click and run it as an administrator. So because I've done that, I won't want to do that. It's very simple. Just follow the procedure. It's going to install. So once it is install and um, you um, open up FL studio all right guys so once um, I get here I'm going to uh, connect my MIDI cable again because initially I removed it 
So once you connect it, it's going to show me this information. So once immediately you go to your controller and accept it, it's going to show like this. So you can come up here and you can see right away. And you can see right away that it's turned on. So all you have to do is to just um if you want to turn down this down one, you can come here and click on it. So you see the enable button that is off so you can turn it on so that particular one is on too so all you have to do is to close this and open up um any of your um instrument it's already ticked to this if i start playing on the piano you are going to hear it making um producing sound okay so So once I start playing on the piano, you hear it produce sound, okay? All right, thank you guys for watching this video, and that's all for today. Okay, please guys, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please hit up that subscribe button, like this video, and turn on the bell notification so you are notified whenever we upload new videos like this. Okay, see you in the next video.